Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is London Tay coming to you today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I do this wig install with a got to be glue gel and spray. Um, it's glueless. You can wear glueless without any gel and spray, but she wanted that super, super melted look for the holidays. So that's what we decided to do. However, I did make a glueless by sewing on a band as well. So if you guys want to see how I do the style, go ahead and continue watching. Okay. So right now I'm just going to braid her hair back into eight cornrows. You don't typically need any more than eight to 10 cornrows whenever you're doing wig installs, unless the hair is super thick and you want to get the wig to lie super flat, then you can do more at your discretion okay so the edges of her head this is a story basically so she is fairly a new client sorry guys my son is screaming in the back i hope you guys kind of just drown him out but um so she's a fairly new client and boy he, look he acting up y'all but she's a fairly new client and I did a wig install on her um, about a month ago. And yeah, so it was with glue this time or well, last time. And so she told me, she never told me that the glue irritated her or anything. She let me know whenever she came back today that the glue irritated her. And so she was scratching it and decided to take it off herself. Um, she didn't inform me that she was going to take the wig off. I would have either, you know, suggested it or tell, told her how to do it. Um, yeah, and she didn't tell me that the glue irritated her. So, so yeah, I had to get on her for that because I was like, girl, you, you should have let me know. So I can definitely assist you. If you have any issues with your hair style that I did, you need to let me know, girl. But yeah, so she told me that it took off some of her edges, um, because she was scratching and everything like that while the wig was still installed on her head. Okay. So that's the backstory of it. Um, it doesn't really, yeah, it'll grow back. Her hair is fine. I usually don't have people that, you know, lose their edges when I do styles, especially if they communicate with me and let me know what's going on. But yeah, so like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and bring her hair all the way to the back. Now, so as far as her edges, since they are thin and things like that from the previous install, I am going to apply some oil. The oil that I'm going to massage and put on her scalp i'm going to massage that same oil on her edges okay a lot of people don't say don't use oil on your edges but the way that i'm installing it's not going to be on her hairline at all it's going to be more so on her forehead so yeah you're not gonna it's not like it's going to prevent it from sticking or anything like that okay so i'm just going to massage the oil really really good into her scalp before i go ahead and install you guys will be able to see that in a minute All right, y'all, so now that everything is braided down and oiled down and smoothed back, here is the wig. I'm going to cut all of the combs that are in the front of the wig. If it's in the middle, I'm going to cut it. The sides, I'm going to cut it. The back, I leave. And then I cut the back lace off. And then I tighten the little elastic band that comes in already on the wig, like in the back where the back comb is. I'm going to tighten that up as well. And then I'm going to apply it on her head, okay? Um, don't forget to tint the lace with some type of cream product that matches the skin complexion, okay? And I'm using the Ruby Kisses. I use that pretty much for everything. And it's the cheapest, okay? So if you find something that's pretty cheap that you can use with different colors of complexion, then that works perfect, okay? So now that I'm going to... I sewed the strap elastic band onto the head, okay? So wherever the two side combs were, that kind of gives me a general idea where I want to sew the elastic band on. Um, and I try to sew it as close to the front. When where Where is that like little band at? That little purple, light purple type of structured spot where the combs were. You're going to want to make sure that you sew on that part, but the spot that's closest to the front, okay? That gives it that, you know, that tightness, that security, and that glueless if you don't, that glue option. A glueless option if you... Don't want to use any type of sprays or glues. But like I said, she wanted a super melted look. 
So, yeah, like, you know, we kind of just wanted to try that and see how she like it. Now, you can do it glueless with no sprays or anything like that. Hopefully, my next clients, we're going to try that. But, you know, it's really hard to maintain when people really don't know how to do wigs at all because, you know, they don't know how to kind of lay the baby hairs with mousse. And, you know, this is a lot easier to upkeep because all you have to do is spray a little bit got to be glue spray in a spot where the, the lace is lifted and tie it down for 10 minutes and then it's back melted, you know. So, yeah. So, once everything is basically, you know, measured right and everything is sitting right in her head, I'm going to start cutting off the lace. I cut it with the eyebrow razor. It gives it that more jagged look, okay? So I really, really like this option. I used to use scissors, but scissors are too blunt and too straightforward. I like the razor because it gives that type of, I don't know, it gives that type of different type of lace, okay? So yeah, so I'm cutting everything off with that. I only use one layer of the Got To Be Glue gel, guys, because I don't really, I'm not trying to usually, I'm not trying to use that Got To Be Glue gel as like a glue option. You get what I'm saying? I'm still trying to make it very, very light, just where she get a little bit of hold with it, okay? Yes. Yeah, so, and I did this like a couple days before Christmas, so I wanted her to get a little bit of hold, you know, until after Christmas until she had to have to refresh the wig up. Okay, guys, so now that all the lace is cut off, we are just going to pull out a front row of hair for just to make sure everything is laid. Now, this is not necessarily all the hair that I'm going to use for baby hair. I usually like very light baby hairs. So this is not all the hair that I'm pulling out for baby hairs, y'all. This is just to get the front parts of the lace super melted, okay? Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to hot comb the hair back and then the pieces forward that I took out for the front row. Like I said, this is not for her baby hair, guys. This is just to secure the lace and make sure I do not miss any spots, okay? So after I do all of that and hot comb, I'm going to use the Got To Be Glue spray where the lace is at the front, a little, be a little behind where the row of hair is okay so i'm just going to spray all of that lace that's exposed in the front down with got to be glue spray and then i'm going to tie it down for about 15 minutes just until it's pretty much dry and melted okay and i'm tying it with an elastic band as well this is like a it used to be like a inch and a half elastic band but i cut it in half so it's like a 0.75 size elastic band i highly recommend using an elastic band to melt down your lace period nothing else works as good in my opinion okay just my opinion all right guys so now that i'm tied everything down i am ready to sew the wig down in the back now sometimes the wig is too big for people so what you're going to want to do you go, you're going to want to part off you want to pull the wig back and then part off where you feel the back braid is, okay? So her back braid is about an inch and a half above the back of the wig, okay? Sometimes wigs are just too big for clients, and that is how you combat that, okay? That is how you still make sure the wig is secure and still fits, but yeah. She's not going to be able to wear it up. She's not going to be able to wear it, to wear it up, guys, but um, yeah, just still to make sure that everything kind of fits for the most part, now you can do a lot of things like fold the wig under, over, and all the stuff in the back, and then make sure everything is, you know, tucked under and stuff like that. But yeah, so she's not going to try to lift it up all the way up. She'll probably lift, lift it in a ponytail, but a little ponytail. So yeah, guys, so I'm just using some a needle and thread to sew the back of the wig down, okay?
All right, y'all. Now that everything is basically curled and laid and everything, I'm taking the elastic band off. The lace is dry. Now, here's a little trick, a little tip that you guys can use, okay? So, a lot of times when you do this method, everything is really, really hard. The baby hair is just kind of like stuck. The hair that's going to the front is like stuck in place. Use mousse, guys. Mousse loosens up that stuckness and you're able to move everything out the way. Either keep it downward going towards baby hairs or you're able to pluck it out or you're able to move that hair back into the hairline, okay? So mousse definitely, definitely helps when it comes to everything being kind of like stuck in place from that got to be glue spray being sprayed and tied down and dried, okay? So I'm just going to pluck some baby hairs um, some hairs in the front because I feel like, you know, the baby hairs are a little too thick for me and the hair is too dense in certain spots. So the tweezers definitely help combat that. Okay. So right here, I'm just going to start moving the hair out the way. Like I said, I do not like a lot of baby hairs and everything, but like I said, you can use the mousse if everything is too stuck. I don't think right here, her hair was too stuck. Um, like sometimes it is for different clients, um, especially if the got to be glue spray runs down their face or runs down a little bit past the spot that you want, it can make the hair stuck onto their forehead and you don't want that. Okay. So yeah, I'm just getting a little bit of, I think I spray some got to be glue sp spray onto that edge brush. And then I use that to kind of mow the hair backwards into spot where I want it but like I said I always like a little swoopy swoop action I just do not like it where you just have to hide the lace with it you know I just don't like that look okay I like for my baby hairs and everything to look pretty pretty natural okay so like I said I'm just using got to be glue spray I keep spreading on the brush the edge brush and then I'm going to use that to mold the hair backwards or forwards wherever I please okay all right y'all so now that everything is laid and done i'm just going to get a kind of wide tooth comb and i'm going to brush out the curls the curls have set really good they set about 10 minutes they cool down that is when you're going to want to comb out your curls do not comb it out when it is warm or hot because you're just going to undo what you already done okay so i'm just combing all the body curls out and just kind of giving a look to figure out kind of how I want everything to go. But this is basically the final result. I think it's a not super, super cute, still like natural looking, but still glam. I really, really like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial just as much as I enjoyed filming it. I did like two or three more installs, wig installs, glueless installs, and I did not record it, guys, but I did put it on my TikTok. So if you guys do have a TikTok, go ahead and follow me Follow your girl, okay, on this TikTok platform. I actually really, really like it. So, yeah. Oh, and another tip. Let's say the lace is too dark or the lace is off-colored still, even after you melt everything and put the ruby kisses under the wig. Put a, Just get a little powder, guys, and just put that powder on the lace. It's almost similar to their skin tone, and that should camouflage everything right on in and blend everything right on in, Okay. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and um, we'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Love you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Okay. And yeah. See you later. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Mwah.